Hey everyone, it's Prime from Iron Octopus Fitness here with Technique Tuesday, and today we're going to talk about the goblet squat. So the goblet squat is a really good option if you have a shitty squat or you don't feel comfortable doing back squats or front squats. So let's talk about a goblet squat. Goblet squats are really cool because oftentimes for like 9 out of 10 people out there, just doing a squat in a goblet position holding the weight in a goblet hold is enough to fix most of what's going on with your squat. But one of the bigger problems that we see with squat is tipping forward. So if you come down into your squat, um, what tends to happen is when we push our butts back, we tip forward um, and it becomes more of a squat hinge. <laughs> so instead of like getting in that athletic stance and squatting down to the bottom, we lean forward really far and we lose a lot of that posterior chain musculature that we're trying to work on. When you load a goblet squat and you put weight on your chest, you're forcing your body to stay upright and kind of forcing your butt to drop down between your heels, which is really what we want out of a squat anyway. So a goblet squat is basically just talking about the position which you hold the weight in. And that means that we're going to hold it like it is a big goblet that we want to drink from. We need to use both hands because this goblet is huge. When you're holding it up in your goblet position, you want the dumbbell to have two points of contact. The dumbbell is actually touching just below my collarbone and then also down here on my chest. And what that means is, as I'm doing the goblet squat, if I lean forward, the dumbbell, you can kind of see it if I move my elbows out of the way, the dumbbell loses the point of contact with the bottom of my chest, and that tells me that I'm leaning forward too far. As you're doing the goblet squat, you want to keep everything right in on your chest. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together and down your back to keep yourself upright as well. And then as you lower yourself, you're gonna focus on keeping those two points of contact. And if you don't, it will give you a really good idea of what you're struggling with in your squat. So for most squat positions, goblet or otherwise, you want your heels to be about shoulder width apart and you can turn your toes out just a little bit. Then you're going to bring your dumbbell up to your chest and get it in goblet position. Lower yourself into an athletic position, which means you're kind of pushing your butt back, right? We're in our athletic stance here. And then once you've got your butt pushed back and you've cleared out space in between your feet, you're going to sink down towards your heels. So if you're doing the goblet squat and you are one of the nine out of 10 people that just loading your chest makes it easier, you'll find that you'll stay upright and sink down lower. If If you still are leaning forward and losing that point of contact with the dumbbell, chances are good that you have poor ankle mobility, which is my problem. So if you have poor ankle mobility, you can still stick with the goblet squat, but there's another addition you can make that will make your goblet squat look even better. I'm gonna use a five pound weight plate to block up my heels. So I'm still keeping the weight on the front of my body. I'm still keeping it on my chest because it will help me sink down through my butt. But now I'm also increasing the possible range of motion within my ankle, which should make my goblet squat look a lot better. Let's see if it actually does. And now I'm going to push my butt back until I'm in that athletic position, and then I'm gonna sink down and come back up. And you'll notice my goblet squat looks a lot better now that I've increased the range of motion in my ankles. There is nothing wrong with doing that as long as you are also working on ankle range of motion in your mobility plan. So that's the goblet squat. The whole purpose is to keep you from tipping forward in your squat reminding you to stay more upright. And there are several modifications and variations that you can use to make sure that you are solidifying your squat form before you move into anything more difficult. Say front squats are more difficult. Barbell back squats are more difficult. And if goblet squats feel great, you can load them pretty heavily as long as you can hold the weight against your chest. Have fun. If you have any questions about the goblet squat, you can post them below. This is your Technique Tuesday, and I'm Prime. Bye.